still ahead all new tonight at 5 30. We're in Putnam, which used to be considered part of the quiet corner of Connecticut, but it's not quiet any longer. It's called the Last Green Valley, and it has a huge economic impact. Straight ahead, we'll tell you more about it and show you. All new tonight at 5.30, have you heard that eastern Connecticut has what's called the Last Green Valley? What is that? Well, it's more than just lush forests. It's also an organization that brings in hundreds of millions of dollars for the state. But how? We sent Channel 3 Iowa to Snooze reporter Dan Kane to find out. And here he is back with the story. Dan? Well, you do remember the quiet corner of Connecticut out in the eastern part of the state? Well, it is quiet no longer. Forget that quiet stuff. It's now the last Green Valley, and it's doing very, very well. Thank you very, very much. The Last Green Valley is a national heritage corridor, about a thousand square miles of farms, fields, forests, and towns, running roughly from Lisbon in the south to Woodstock in the north and on up to Sturbridge, Mass. It is so important to keep this green space available to produce food and to provide recreation for the surrounding population, and uh, that's our goal. The Last Green Valley, Inc. is a nonprofit that promotes not only the tourist activities in the area, but agricultural and preservation efforts as well. And those folks don't like the name The Quiet Corner. There's a difference between quiet and green. Quiet makes it sound like there's something going on. Green is vital and energetic and filled with uh, lots of promise and great things. Great things like country fairs and farm stands and antique shops, restaurants, hiking trails, scenic rivers and small towns. All the things that attract visitors, a lot of visitors. According to their last survey, the Valley drew 1.25 million visitors last year, mostly day trippers who visit five to seven times a year and spend about $264 per party per visit. That translates into an economic impact of almost $890 million. The official title is actually the Quinnebog and Chetucket Rivers Valley National Heritage Corridor. And of course, it's not the last Green Valley, but it's one of them. And one of the few left on the East Coast from Washington up to Boston and folks who live there and work there and visit plan to keep it that way. And also we're told that airline pilots approaching the East Coast at night, they use the valley as a landmark because the coast is just lit up like a Christmas tree from Washington up to Boston, except for that one little strike through eastern Connecticut. That's the last Green Valley. Dan Kane, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.